life. So what do we already know about Christy Balcorn? We started learning about her last week and we learned that she is a Métis artist and that she's known for her intricate dot paintings that are done in the style of Métis beadwork. Um, her paintings are often very big and very beautiful. They use geometric patterns and um, they often um, use symmetry as well. Um, they show flowers and other plants and sometimes different animals. And there's a lot of symbolism in Chrissy's paintings. Um, the different types of flowers and plants often have meanings. She uses dots to represent spirits. Um, there's, there's a lot of depth and meaning to the work that she creates. However, she's also really famous for a completely different style of art. She is super concerned about protecting the waters of North America and has used her artwork as a tool in her activism. Um, so as a way to help to spread the message about the importance of protecting water and keeping it clean and safe for drinking. So the images that she's used to spread this message about protecting water are very different from the paintings we looked at last week. I'd like you to watch this very, very short video of Christy explaining what water is life means to her. It's a big slogan that she uses in this artwork. And then in the next few slides, um, you'll see a few examples of this style of artwork. So for your task this week, I have two options. Um, for option number one, you can reflect on Christy Belcour's artwork. So um, part A of this is thinking about the message that Christy is sending in her artwork. So what is the message that she's trying to send with the artwork that we looked at today? Do you think this is an important message? Why or why not? So write me a couple sentences, one explaining the message and one letting me know if you think it's important. And then compare and contrast. So compare and contrast the two styles of Chrissy's artwork that we have looked at. How are they similar? How are they different? In the next slide, you'll see an example of each style of art side by side. So this would be a good place to look um, if you choose to do this option, just to see how different they are. There we go. And if you'd rather create some art this week, um, you can choose option two, and that's creating art to send a message. So last week we talked about how Christy uses symbolism in her artwork, and this week we talked about how she uses her artwork as a way to spread an important message about protecting water. What is an issue that is important to you? What would you like people to take action on or know about? This could be related to the environment, but it could be something totally different. Create a piece of artwork to share your message. You can use any style of artwork you like, such as painting, drawing, or sculpture. If you choose to do this, just take a picture of it and send it to me. You can either post it um, in your OneNote book, or you can send me an email with the picture as an attachment. As always, I'm really looking forward to see, seeing um, whichever option you choose to do. Uh, I love hearing your thoughts, and I also love seeing artwork that you produce. Um, so hope that everyone's doing well, and I will talk to you next week.